Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabella and I haven't uploaded in two weeks which is really bad of me. If you're not new here, then those things are still true. So in today's video, it's going to be a little bit of a different video but just something that I thought would be fun to talk about and that is talking about the wonderful world of Wattpad. So I'm sure if you've been on YouTube at all, it's very common to see people reacting to Wattpad stories or if you were like me and you were 13 in 2013, then you did did a lot of your own reading and writing on Wattpad. So I just wanted to talk about my experiences writing on Wattpad and what the website was like and how it is now for anyone like me who hasn't been on it for a really long time. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the stigma behind Wattpad. So if you've been on YouTube or anywhere at all, you would see that there's a lot of videos reacting to cringy Wattpad stories. And I think that there's a number of reasons why there's a stigma for these things. One is that there are some stories that are cringy or inappropriate, particularly fan fictions that talk about real life people who obviously wouldn't want their lives to be written in this particular way and might not feel comfortable with 13, 12 year olds writing about them like this. The second reason I think is because a lot of the things that have become famous from Wattpad, most notably after has not really been well received as a mainstream book or movie. So I'm sure you've seen the movie After and its sequel on Netflix and if you have you would know that the writing and the acting and the directing is just not very good and that's kind of the biggest book that has come out of Wattpad and so if you have this kind of idea that this is what the books are like it obviously gives a bad impression for the website. Also because Wattpad's audience was predominantly teen girls I think this also made it very easy to criticize and make Wattpad seem like this cringe thing because teenage girls are often criticized for liking things. So obviously in like 2012, teenage girls who liked Starbucks and who wore Uggs were criticized for being basic. And now similarly, girls of a similar demographic are criticized for caring about turtles and wanting to use reusable straws and using hydro flasks. Or they're criticized for making TikToks and doing dances that people deem to be cringy. So I do think a big part of the stigma behind Wattpad is the fact that young women or girls are just not allowed to like anything without being criticized for it in some way. And the final reason why I think that Wattpad is seen as this embarrassing, cringy thing is because it is people showing off their creativity at an amateur level. So oftentimes a lot of people, especially young people, think that it's quite cringy to see their friends try and start a YouTube channel. I'm sure the friends that I have that watch this, I'm sure that some of them think that it's really embarrassing that as a 21 year old I'm trying to start a YouTube channel and why would anyone care about what I think. And similarly people might judge you for starting a TikTok account or trying to be an influencer on Instagram. And the same way I think that people would be very judgy about trying to start a Wattpad account and trying to write and I think oftentimes creativity is seen as something to be embarrassed of unless you're very successful. So a lot of people think that it's cringy to start a YouTube channel if you have 10 subscribers but once you start hitting 10,000 subscribers it's suddenly not cringy to be creative and it's something that's impressive and entrepreneurial and I think that's the same thing with Wattpad because all the writers are amateurs and tend to be young people either young adults or children or teenagers it's seen as something embarrassing because it's creativity at an amateur level. So those are all the reasons why I think Wattpad kind of has this stigma in the first place. Also sorry if the lighting changed, the sun is coming in and out, which is not very helpful and I don't have any artificial lights because I only film on my phone. So now moving on to what my experience was like writing on Wattpad. So I know the stereotype around Wattpad is that everyone writes fan fiction, and I'm not gonna lie, I did have a side account with my friend where we wrote Five Seconds of Summer fan fiction, and it is still out there somewhere. We never finished any of the stories, but they're out there. But on my main account, I did a 13, 14 year old attempt at writing YA slash contemporary fiction. I do think both of those genres are a bit of a stretch for the things that I wrote, but that's probably how I would categorize them now. The most well-read book that I had, which probably had like a thousand to 2000 read something like that was this book that I wrote book that I wrote called Replay which was about a boy who had a speech disorder and kind of how he dealt with that in his daily life. At the time I thought that it was a really good book and I never finished writing it but I think I probably wrote about 16,000 words for it which was quite a lot for me as a 13 year old but eventually I gave up because I didn't really know what to write and I was busy with school and didn't have the motivation but obviously as a 13 year old I thought it was like the best book ever so I sent it to my parents who sent it to my grandparents and my poor grandma was there 70 years 
years old reading this book that I wrote on Wattpad. But honestly, I really enjoyed writing it and Wattpad was such a good outlet for me. So a lot of people deem Wattpad to be this cringy, embarrassing thing, but I actually think that it was really helpful for me personally and I really enjoyed my time spent on the platform. So the first is that it helped me read when I was in a reading slump. So as a teenager, I didn't really read as much as I did when I was a child. I just wasn't really interested in reading anything. I felt really tired after coming home from school and I just wanted to be on my phone. But I would always go on Wattpad and I would end up reading lots and lots of books. And I'm not saying that the books that I read were necessarily high caliber or really intellectual books, but I did read lots and lots of books. And a lot of them I do think were well written, at least at the time when I was 13 or 14, I thought they were well written. I'm not sure if I would think the same thing now, but I think it definitely encouraged me to read and without Wattpad I might not have gotten back into reading and been as interested in books as I am now. So I'm really grateful that Wattpad gave me the ability to read things that I was interested in and learn new things and forced me to continue reading even though I didn't necessarily feel like it at the time. The second benefit that Wattpad had was that it helped me make friends. So I met two friends through Wattpad. I hope they're both doing well. I don't speak to them anymore, although I do follow one of them on Instagram. And it was just really cool to meet other people who were my age that had a similar interest that really liked to read and write and it was great to have a kind of support system where we always read each other's books and voted on them and commented on them and it was just a really fun time. And I also had my music taste expanded a lot by the two girls that I met on there and I just learned a lot more about like different countries and cultures and it was just a really good time and so I'm really glad that I was able to meet those two girls through Wattpad. The next part that I really liked about Wattpad was that literally everything was free. You could read so much for free and what was really good as a writer on Wattpad was there are these forums that I don't think they have anymore. I tried to look for them on the website, but they just didn't seem to exist where you could request for book covers to be made or icons to be made for your profile or backgrounds for your profile. And people made like such good quality covers. Like there are these 13 year olds really good at Photoshop making professional looking book covers. Like if I saw these book covers in a store, I wouldn't really think twice about them. And people were just doing this for free. Like they would just request a follow or for you to like their latest book that they wrote. But people were basically taking the time to make art for free, to write books for free, just to provide entertainment and help to other people. And I think that that is a really amazing thing that you don't really see on social media anymore. Nowadays, everyone's looking for an advertisement or to be paid. And there's nothing wrong with that. I do think that it's good to be paid for your work. But it was just nice to be in a community when I was 13 and 14 to see people like this who were just willing to do things because they liked making art or they liked writing books. And I think that that's a really rare and amazing thing. And in that same vein, everyone that I met on Wattpad was so nice, like way nicer than the general population. So it was such a positive community to be a part of. And I think for me, it was really great to have a creative outlet where people were really encouraging and made me believe in my writing ability and made me believe in my creative skills and I think without that I would have a lot less confidence in my writing ability and it was just something that brought me a lot of joy. And finally this is kind of a strange point to make but I do think that on Wattpad there was a lot more diversity than in mainstream literature. Obviously nowadays there is a lot more diversity when you go into a bookstore there tends to be a lot more translated literature and books written by authors of different races and nationalities personalities, sexualities, genders, religions, etc. But at the time in 2013, I rarely went into a bookstore where I saw books that had a Asian character as the main character or any books that were about being transgender or anything like that. But on Wattpad in 2013, I was reading loads of books about those things. And obviously they were written by children, so they might not have been perfect. But I do think that it was really cool to see so many different perspectives and so many different experiences that weren't necessarily reflected in mainstream literature at the time. So if you're anything like me, you stopped using Wattpad five, six, seven, eight years ago, and you haven't been back on it since. But I went on it recently for this video and I realized that a lot of things have changed. So the main change is that Wattpad has introduced Wattpad Premium and Wattpad Premium Plus, and there are certain books that you need to pay to read. So this is very different to the previous structure it had where basically everything was free. So now it seems like you have something called coins, which you use to unlock paid stories, and it seems like you can't download stories to read offline unless you have some kind of premium version, whereas before you could download as many stories as you wanted. And I do think that this is a bit of a shame, especially if Wattpad's main audience is the same as it always 
boys was, which was teenagers or preteens, I think that charging for people to read and for people to have this full experience is really harmful because either it means that the company is manipulating children out of their parents' money, or it means that they don't think that children should have access to free literature. And I really disagree with that. I think that it was so nice to have a free platform where people could share their creativity and learn from others' creativity. And it's not like the quality of books has become infinitely better that they are necessarily worth buying. I just think that the company has decided to capitalize on how popular the site is. And I don't necessarily think that that is a moral wrong. I think that that is something that every company would do. But it's just a shame to see it go from this community where everyone did things for free and just wanted to share their art and share their love of reading and writing to a place that emphasizes coins and the money that you spend in order to unlock certain exclusive things that are only available to certain people. Another big difference that I noticed was that there's a huge emphasis now on getting published or getting your Wattpad book made into a movie or into a TV show. There's now a whole section of the website that is dedicated to author support and it's basically just teaching people who write on Wattpad how to get published published and they have connections with mainstream publishers or they talk about getting your book made into a TV show for Netflix or something like that. And I do think that this is good because it encourages the writers on Wattpad to kind of dream big and have big aspirations, which can be really helpful when you're a 13 year old. But at the same time, I do think that it kind of takes away from the community fun feel of the website and just kind of makes it seem more like a cash grab or a way for people to make money as opposed to just something that people did for fun. Obviously this can offer some people really great opportunities and I'm really happy for those people that have those opportunities but at the same time I do think it is kind of a shame that you can't just have these free hobbies that you enjoy doing that everything has to be monetized and everything has to become some kind of side hustle and you can't just do something because you like doing it. It has to be for a greater goal of becoming famous or for getting money. As I mentioned before I think these forums where people design covers for you have disappeared it seems like they they encourage you to make your own covers through something like Canva, which is fine, but I do think that one of the best things about Wattpad was the community that it fostered, and I don't really think that that seems like the case anymore. Now it seems like the main thing that is emphasized is paying to read books or paying to download books and trying to become rich and famous off of this book that you've written on Wattpad. I think when I was 13, Wattpad gave me a lot of confidence as a writer. It really encouraged me to be creative and it gave me a sense of community at a time where I often felt lost and I didn't really know who I was. I definitely think that those reading cringy Wattpad fan fiction videos are really funny and really entertaining. I love watching them. Some of my favorite YouTubers have made them. But I do also think that it's important to consider that just because some aspects of a platform are cringy doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't certain benefits to it. I am I'm nostalgic for the old Wattpad even though I haven't used it for many years so clearly there was something in the website that made me lose interest or growing up made me lose interest. But overall I do think that it's a great platform and I hope that even though it does seem a bit cash grabby at the moment that they'll eventually return to the community roots that the website used to have. If you like this type of commentary slash my opinion type video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you're interested and comment down below anything you want to comment down below. If you would like to see more more videos like this from me, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching!